we've been practicing graphing lines using a table of values where we plug in some different x values to get the y values. But we can also do that by using two particular values, the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Now we can find those. The x-intercept is the x-coordinate where the graph crosses the x-axis. So we know that if we have here our x-axis, then this point where our line is crossing over that, we call that the x-intercept. And similarly, if we have a graph let's see, like this, the y-intercept is here where our graph crosses the y-axis. So these points both exist when one of the values of the coordinates is zero. So on our y-intercept we have a number for y, but our x value is zero. We move side to side nothing before going up to that point. In our x-coordinate, our x, I mean our x-intercept, excuse me, we have a number value for x and zero for y. We move over side to side to get to our point, but then we went up and down nothing, up and down zero. So if we know those two values, if we know an x-intercept and a y-intercept, then we can use those two to create our line. So given those two values, maybe we have an x-intercept of 3, 0, and a y-intercept of 0, negative 2. Then our x-intercept, we can go over to 3, up and down 0. In our y-intercept, we can go side to side 0, down to negative 2. And then we can connect those two with our straight edge.